Hello everyone, Valentine Ose here for Graded Picture Playground. If this is your first time on this channel, hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to get notified when new video is uploaded. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to add background to your test using the legacy title. If you've not seen the tutorial on how to create simple test with legacy title, hit the card icon at the top of your screen to see that tutorial first thing first go to file new then go down to legacy title if you've not seen tutorial on how to locate and use the legacy title you can hit the card icon to see the tutorial on how to locate the legacy title it will show you the timeline presets just click ok then this is the legacy title now we want to add background to a particular test so let's type example so to do that you click on the t icon and click on the screen here and type whatever you need to type example has it you hit on the icon hold down your shift to have a perfect scale this is it so we change our font by coming down here the top right and use this so we've done that let's align and the next thing now is come to this shape icon which is a rectangular tool and just draw a shape around it reason for choosing this rectangular tool is because it will suit the character so you see everything is covered we will come down to your solid which is the fill color a detailed tutorial on how to use the various tools in legacy title will be created you click on this spot and you make it black you okay that is it next thing is to right click on that surface you come to arrange under this arrange you scroll down to send back boom you see that the character which we created is there to make it a bit transparent come to your opacity under the solid color bring it down to 80 will be just fine i hope you now understand how to add background to your test if this is your first time on this channel hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to get notified when new video is uploaded i am valentine Ose. see you in our next tutorial